Okay, um, project number four, we're going to be bringing in a photo sequence uh, into After Effects here to play as a movie, as a stop motion animation. So um, first thing we want to do is we want to go into Creative Cloud here, or if you're using an older version of After Effects, you want to open After Effects. Wait a few minutes for it to load. <laughs> Okay, and then before you do anything, you're going to see a window like this. We're just going to click on the tab that says New Project. So click there. Now you're going to see, uh, this is what you're going to see here going in. Uh, several windows. <clears throat> your timeline windows on the bottom here. Uh, and also with your clips, it'll name your clips to the left of the timeline on the, on the bottom. You'll see that in a few. Just above this timeline to the left... That's where your raw clips will be stored. And there's a window that says name, type, size, etc. Um, and then in the center is going to be your canvas window, your screen, if you will. And then over here to the right, upper right, you'll see preview there. Preview has your play controls and your rewind controls um, and fast forward. Um, so that's your basic layout. So this will make more sense once we get our uh, photos in here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our file. And the way to do that is to go to the Composition tab on the top of the screen. If you click Composition, you're going to choose New Composition, the top one, or Control-N, right? Just like a new file. And here's where we can set our uh, dimensions. In this case, we're going for 720 by 540. I already have those in here, but if let's say your numbers are different, let's say you have something like 814 by 611 in there. As long as my lock aspect ratio is checked, whenever I change the width dimension, the height will change along with it. Okay, so you just grab, you just left click on the number, hold the mouse button down, then drag to the left or right. So we're going to bring this down to 720. If it, you have a hard time getting it, just double click on there or just click once on there and just type in 720. So there's our composition, 720 by 540. If you want to check your settings again or go back and finish it off, go to composition settings. So we'll go to composition, composition settings. We can always go back here, here and change something. For my pixel aspect ratio, I'm just choosing DV NTSC. That's a standard 4-3 uh, resolution, so it'll work well with that. You can also name your composition up here if you want. We'll call this uh, Pick Sequence, something like that. Or Stop Motion Sequence would work too. Okay, and then down here, the last thing, we got to change our duration. Let's say I want my... Uh, movie to be five seconds so in duration we're going to go in here it says seven seconds right now right so seconds would be that second the number is second to the right there so we're going to change that seven to five so now we have a five second duration and also on the frame rate this might say something like 29.97 your frame rate, you're going to change this, the frames per second, to 10 frames a second. So that's going to be 10, okay? So we have 720 pixel width, 540 pixel height. Pixel aspect ratio is DVNTSC. Frame rate is 10 frames a second. And then finally, I've come up with a 5 second duration. I can always change that if I need to. Any of that. Click OK. Now we're set up for a five second animation. So the next step now is to bring in our photo sequence. Okay. So we're going to go up here um, to file. 
we're going to choose import and we're going to import what are not just a, one file but multiple files right we're going to import multiple pictures so we're going to say multiple files We're going to go find our uh, folder. I've made a folder called Pick Sequence, and I put all my pictures in there. It says iCloud Photos. I'm going to double click on that. Click on the first uh, photo there. It's 2255, and then they go in numerical sequence from there. And now all I have to do is make sure where it says Import As down below. Make sure that says Footage here. Import as Footage import J, jpeg sequence is all we need okay and as long as that's selected it should get them all in order um so now you just click import and there they are you can click done there if you're done and you'll see that they showed up right here okay so they're in the window in the upper left there it starts with 2257 there or 2255 sorry so now we can take this in this upper left-hand window, click it, and drag it down to our timeline. And notice there, now it's showing up. I can hit spacebar for to play it, and notice that there it is. The other one, couple things, couple problems I'm noticing here. Um, okay, if you go up here to preview in the upper right-hand corner, click on the word preview. That's where your play controls are, right? The re rewind button will take you back to the first frame. Now, if you, if you go down to the timeline on the bottom of your screen, After Effects, the blue key there, the scrub key, I call it, you can click on that, left click on it, and drag your scrub bar through the video to look at it. Now, the problem with these pictures is they're zoomed in way too far. They're too high resolution for 540 by 720. So what I need to do is resize this. How do we do that? Well, the easiest way, again, it's down, it's down on the bottom where your timeline is, to the left, where all your photos are stored in this window. Um, you're going to click where it says, where it has my source name. Again, this is on the bottom, to the left of your timeline. There, that layer there has all your pictures, the one I just selected, right? This is all the pictures in the timeline. You click this little tiny arrow to the left of the word IMG, or the, the abbreviation IMG. There's a little tiny arrow there, again, to the left of your timeline. Click that little arrow, the transform tool pops up, okay? And this is the menu that has all of your uh, keyframing tools. Click that little arrow next to transform, and we're going to deal with the scale with the scale tool. Now, right now, as it's scaled, it says 100%. Uh, we're going to go right on that where it's, it's in blue. It says 100%. Anywhere on there, we're going to see that the cursor changes to a hand with two arrows. Left click, hold the left mouse button down, then drag your mouse left or right. In this case, I'm dragging to the left to resize these clips. So we want it to fit right in the canvas window like that. Once you know what your size needs to be, now what you want to do is you want to bring the scrub key back to the very beginning of your animation. So bring the scrub key from your timeline back to zero. We, we're zoomed in about 35% only on the pictures. Now what you do to make this make uh, After Effects remember this is to click the little stopwatch next to the word scale. Click that once, and now watch when I move the scrub key. Notice the little blue diamond in there. I'll select it here for you so you can see it. Oops. And it's right there at the beginning of your uh, video. It's a little blue diamond. That means it's keyframe. That means it remembers that it wants you to keep the video at that size, okay? So that's all you have to do to start keyframing your animation is hit that stopwatch and leave it on. And then you can start any changes you make along the way in terms of scaling. For example, let's say I scale this back up to 100. I'm just clicking, I'm left clicking on the numbers and dragging my mouse to the right. 
Now you see there's another di blue diamond in there. That's another keyframe we've created, right? So when we watch the video now, it's going to scale up to 100% from the beginning all the way to here. Notice how it's scaling up. So I don't really want that. Right, so I can just now I can just double click on this keyframe or single click on it, I guess, and hit delete, and it's gone now. Okay, so that's how you get to it. You you basically on the layers. I'm sorry, on the timeline window on the bottom, just to the left of the timeline, you'll see where your clips or your source clips are. Just click that little arrow there. To bring up your transform tools, click the air little arrow next to transform and then, you know, make your changes and then make sure you keyframe it by clicking the stopwatch and then leaving that on as you make your keyframes throughout the timeline. So that's basically it. You get your photo sequence in. You can resize them if you need to. And, uh, and then the last thing we can do. If you notice, my pick sequence is only three seconds long. About three seconds, four frames, something like that. Well, the, the requirements on the assignment are it needs to be five to ten seconds, right? So what I would recommend if your video falls short, you don't have enough pictures, but you're close, is to use what's called the time stretch tool, okay? So if you go right onto your uh, footage in the timeline here, I'm just going to go right on here and right click on it. You can go up to what's called time here and choose time stretch. Okay. So again, I right click just on the, the video in the timeline, chose time and then go to time stretch. Now, to make it easy, all I have to do is go up here, go down here and change this to five seconds for my duration. Click OK. And now, look, my video extends all the way to five seconds. But what that'll do is slow it down. So that's why how it's able to uh, change the duration to five seconds by slowing down the sequence. So watch, it'll be a little bit slower now. That looks pretty good. It's still pretty fast, though. So you may even want to go in here. Let's go up to new or our composition again. Let's choose composition settings. And I'm going to change this to seven seconds now instead of five. I'm going to stretch it out even more. Click OK. Notice now when we slide over, we still have or we have seven seconds rather than five. So now I'll go on to my video right on the timeline. This, this little video track, right click on it, choose time, time stretch again, and now we're going to change this to, you guessed it, seven seconds. Click OK. Now we have a seven second video. Okay, let's watch it. Okay, much more manageable to watch, right? Now we can tell they're dancing even though it's not that smooth. It's only 10 frames a second. But that's a way you can get your photo sequence, if it's too short, to uh, stretch out to somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds before it looks right. And that's basically all there is to it.